Hi everyone, Sam Smyers here. I'm an artist and music producer in Los Angeles, California. Today I want to talk to you about how to glide, slide, and bend your 808s. I'm using these terms interchangeably because essentially what you're doing is you're pitch bending your 808s. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And now let's get into showing you how to do this. So the first thing that we are going to look at is how to do the pitch bending for MIDI. And what I did here is I have my MIDI pattern and the 808s. And you can hear I have it bending right now. And what I did is I dragged in a 808 sample. So there, I'm playing it right now. And then I put in my 808 pattern. And in order to get this pitch bending, what we first have to do is we have to make sure that in this MIDI tab, we have the pitch bend range set at plus 12 semitones. So that means that if I pitch bend it all the way up to the max, then it's going to go up an octave. And the same goes for if you pitch it down, it will go down an octave. So we have this pitch bend range at plus 12 semitones. We have the sample in here. And then we double click and this window opens up and we want to make sure this right here is selected because it opens up this envelope tab and this arrow is selected and then we go to MIDI control and we go to pitch bend so right here pitch bend now you can see I already drew in the pitch bends here let me just go ahead and take it out and we can do this from scratch now what you can do is you can click on this line, one here, one here, and then in the middle right here, this is where I'm going to do my pitch bend. And I'm going to drag it all the way to the max right here. So you can hear it bent down. Now I'm going to add one right here too. And what I can also do is I can hit shift and drag it down and then it creates this square line. That's a really harsh bend down, but if I click on that node down here, then it automatically creates this bend down. So what I can also do is I can hit this option key and hold it down and I can drag this line back and forth. And if I bend it to the right, then it bends down slower, and if I bend it down to the left, it bends down a lot faster. So you can hear that bend was really fast. I'm not actually going to use those right now. Any of these uh, exaggerated bends, I'm just going to leave it pretty linear right here. The next one, I'm going to add a bend going up to the max. I'm going to add one right here. I'm going to make it go down. And then I'm going to add one right here. And I'm going to make this one go down. So I'm using a lot of pitch bends. Let's listen to it in the track. So you can hear what's doing. It's giving it some movement. It's making the bass a little bit more interesting. So you can also make it have some glide. I'm not really using the glide right now, but if you go to this tab right here, pitch slash OSC oscillator, then you go to this glide right here and it'll probably be off, but you can put it on glide and you can adjust the time right here. So if any of these notes overlap, then you'll hear a bit of a glide sound. So if I add a note right here and it overlaps, then it should glide up. So you can hear how it just glided up from this A to that B. So that is how you make 808s glide, is you overlap the notes and you turn on this glide right here. If I want to use audio and not the MIDI, then I can do something similar. So right here, I just dragged in the same 808, but I instead of putting it into a sampler, I just put it on a audio track and I transpose it to the note. I have the warp on Complex Pro and then I have this envelope tab open. I go down to clip, 
I go down to transposition and here is that line you click and you add a node and see I have it from 0 to negative 12 semitones so if I just drag it down it goes down to negative 12 semitones and that will bend down so there you have that bend and same thing with the MIDI is if I hold down option then I can adjust this line to give it more of a curved bend down. So those are two ways to do your 808 bends and slides. The MIDI way is what I would prefer to do uh, for this song, for this idea. I think it really depends on how it sounds in the song. Sometimes it's cool to do it with the audio, sometimes it works with the MIDI. It's really just about experimenting and finding something that works for you. There you have it. That is how you pitch bend your 808s. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.